Hey guys, Sean for Two Honey Badger here doing commentary for a match with my Black Cougar Stry deck. As you will see, I have prepared a few matches for you. This one is against Angel Feather Stry. So as you see, um, I've been messing around with. I finally made a serious Black Cougar Stry deck. That's basically how I want to put it right now. But um, as you see, I'm trying to rush him as much as possible, and he makes sure my Vanguard doesn't hit, so I don't get that free search. I'm also playing it with the Limit Break Enablers because without it, eh, you're kind of a sitting duck. Because you actually have really little to no early game. See, you want to um, use Stride as your mid game. If like, to like kind of push and then you want to use Galaxy. Or you could swap that around, just saying. Because you just want to get to Vic, to, you just want to use like Vic 10 once. And then use Victoplasma late game because once your opponent is at five damage, um, Galaxy or nothing will be hitting. So you're just trying to Victoplasma to keep the train rolling. And this guy's using the new Angel Feather Stride, which is actually a very interesting card. Um, there is really um, easy ways to play around Angel Feather these days. So, so I didn't find this match much of a problem, but um. Lately, CFA's just been filled with, like, um, I don't know how to put it, people who been on the hype wagons for Aqua Force lately. So, it's really nice that I could get some non-Aqua Force matches lately. Um, I do have a Tranger matches, which I want to put up. It was actually really funny. Um, but I do, um, I do, um, whatchamacallit, I do see that, um, the guy has only five damage while I'm still at two, and then there's like the anime damage scene, which I was thinking about before I recorded this um, voiceover. And then I tried, I tried to Victoplasma here, um, just because he's at five damage, and I want to keep the train rolling, see if I could push. And as you see, I do not discard the grade three here, but I get enough triggers to power up my Mars, um, and that will be game. Alright, so this is a match between Neo Nectar Stride versus my Stride Black Cougars. Neo Nectar, I think, has the b largest potential besides Aqua Force. Uh, great, great nature, too, yeah. Um, but Neo Nectar is definitely tier 2 now. But as you see, he's trying to rush me with his Gladius Knight and his Grace Knight. Um, and I have to G assist, which is really bad. <laughs> and I hit no grade 2, so I'm kind of in a very bad spot, so I decide to call the trigger and a frog master in the back row to try and get some attacks early game. I decide not to put frog master in the back row because, and the front row, sorry, because he could just kill it. And then that heal trigger really kind of saved me. Also drive check into that Jupiter blast, sorry if I'm a little bit late. But um, as you see here, he gets me to 4 damage when I, while I'm still at grade 1. So it's time for a comeback. Comeback Ganyan boys. <laughs> um, so my boys in blue are going to try and get some um, comeback in for me. And like, <laughs> I really don't know how to do these. So I'm still at grade two. And then I just decide to stride instead of staying at limit break. Because I really have no other blau units on the field. Um, so... I do my drive checks. He lets it hit. I drive check two triggers. So, but I use Morgan Rot first, and then I restand my Black Cougar. Um, Morgan Rot is used because the Stride unit still keeps the name of the Vanguard. Okay. So you see, he hits a draw trigger, a perfect guard, and another Grade Three. But he hits no critical, so I'm still safe as I no guard that Vanguard attack. And um, I'm able to guard through all his attacks, and I decide to go into Victor Plasma here. Due to the fact that he's at 4 damage, he's probably not going to let anything hit. Except maybe a few attacks. But, um... Like, the... Um, what was I going to say? The um, heal trigger there actually really helped out a lot. Pumping up my rear guard columns by 5k each was really nice. To help force out some extra shield. And then this is where I actually finally understood that stride. The Jingle Dragon thing. 
So you pick one of your rear guards and each card gets plus 2k for each card with the same name as that unit. And I perfect guard his vanguard attack because if I take anything, I'm pretty much dead. And then he swings for a really, really high number <laughs> right there. And I'll let you all enjoy this match clutch city style. Alright, so this is versus my boy Clay Smith's Blaster Joker avatar, but this is not Clay Smith. Um, I just like his Blaster Joker deck. But um, as you see here, he is playing Legion meta. It's like a Clash of the Limit Break Enablers, I could honestly say that, yeah. Because he's playing a deck that really controls my field, and I'm playing a deck that's like aggro beatdown. So it actually is an interesting match, if you ask me. So I tried to rush him as much as possible, but I don't think the cards in hand would allow me to. Um, because he went first, so he could hit his um, grades faster. And then I decide to rush as much as possible um, with the Frogmaster, because I want to get off the limit break so I could kill him faster. And then as you see here, I do get off the limit break at 2 damage, so I, and then hit a crit, power up mind, and a Jupiter. So, now my opponent is at 5 damage and he's forced to guard every attack. That's how deadly this deck is. You could go from, boom, 3 damage, to 6 damage. And I've actually been able to do 4 damage in one turn with this deck. With just a, van with just a vanguard and 1 rearguard attack. Which is actually really, really good. Um, imagine if you could play that with Cat Butler, 60. Hey, there's a deck idea. <laughs> Grade 2, blah, blah, panther. <laughs> and he decides to quintet wall my stride attack, and I hit three triggers, <laughs> which is really sad. And as you see, all my units unlock, and he decides to go into an imaginary plane, which actually isn't a bad choice. And he runs um, Cold Death Dragon, which was very interesting, because he forced me to call the top card of my deck, which was a heal trigger back early in the game, if you didn't see. Um, he hits a heal trigger, so he's able to recover one, and I hit a draw trigger. So after like 4 or 5 turns, we're both at f um, 4 damage, and I decided to strike into Victoplasma so I could keep the train rolling, <laughs> as I call it. And I have an enormous hand size, well, I, well, I feel bad for him. And I do hit a crit here, so that's kind of game. Yeah, pretty much game. Oh wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, there's the heal that we all thought. Sackier than Aichi. <laughs> And then my cards unlock, he locks them again. <laughs> and then I am forced to perfect guard his vanguard. But he does run stand triggers, and as you see, he double crits me, so... Um, I don't think stands and link joker aren't so good, but they can work out if you really think about it. Like, Mega Colony and Sand work out better than Mega Colony and Crit. Um, so I decide to... Um, which we call um, stride there into Vic 10 because I want to get some advantage going. And then, as you see, I only have single digit cards left in deck, so it's time to actually get something going. And I decide not to stride there because I have faith in my blouse and that they could do anything. And then, and then he whips the stand trigger, and then Marn does the finish out. <laughs> But I'm forced to perfect. And there's the limit break enabler I was talking about. And a rat on. My, my boys in blue will finish off this game by hitting one trigger, which was the one trigger left in my deck, which was clutch. GG.